Howdy y'all, I am Adam of Renaissance Nerd. Today, I want to talk about the fact that the assault on the franchises we love is, is never ending. And it's never ending because those who want to destroy what is classic, what is pure, what is timeless, the only way they can do that is to try and rewrite the original narratives of the story. Lord of the Rings, J.R.R. Tolkien's masterpiece, has stood the test of time for, what, a century? Just about now? G getting, getting close to it? <clears throat> What's going on now is dangerous with the upcoming Lord of the Rings Amazon TV show. I'm going to explain that more in a minute. What we have here, there has always been this running gag, and we made the jokes when we were young and watching it because it was just a joke. It was funny that Sam and Frodo were being a little too close together in their journey across Middle Earth, but they aren't. They are not part of the Alphabet community. J.R. Tolkien was a Catholic man he was a devout cop man, and he didn't, to be honest, he didn't believe in that sort of thing. So he didn't write the characters to behave like that. But that doesn't stop the woke SJW identity politics mob from trying to change that narrative. They are attacking Tolkien's works to twist it, to change it. <clears throat> and one, and, and it, it, here it is on Twitter. I mean, Twitter is a cesspool. Twitter is a cesspool, and it should be regarded as that. Sewer. Reminder that if Lord of the Rings films have been made today, Aragorn would be, have been a woman, but Arwen still a she-elf. Frodo and Sam would have been gay. Gandalf, the, Gandalf Black and the only white male actors in the entire cast would have been Denethor, Grima, and Sauron. They look through the world through three lenses, race, gender, sexuality, many times, all at once. This is what they want to do. First, they classify it as things need to be modernized, things to be modernized for a modern audience. Well, I immediately say that's full of crap because timeless, timeless works of art are timeless for a reason. They don't need to be adapted because they hold up no matter what era they are presented in. So immediately you know you're dealing with an SJW woke identity politics moron, because they want to modernize it. I mean, today, Aragorn be a woman because the women need to be the heroes. Women need to take over the roles of men for equal representation and diversity. In response... People have started to mock it, obviously, but then it keeps going. It keeps going because they want they want you to believe that you're in the minority. They want you to believe that your normal think is in the minority. That's part of changing the narrative. That's why Twitter is a disgusting sewer. I'm just you say, you say the word sewer. I'm trying to watch my language these days, guys. I'm trying to watch my language. It's a disgusting sewer, full of filth and filthy people. Uh, see, they were gay when it came out in 2001, bro. I mean, all you have to do is look at the evidence to prove that you just prove them with the actual source material. But that's something that, again, is part of the argument here. Those who want to change the narrative want to ignore source material. Now, the rest of this article here, Abounding at the Comics, shows us that Tolkien himself, in unarguable terms, pure facts, shows that Samwise got married, has a whole lineage, all kinds of good stuff that, 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 to, to destroy their fake narrative. Narrative is why I really I'm talking about this today, because the narrative is what's important. This was just the, the, the opening to what I want to talk about here. 
We worry about it because prequels, the unending desire of prequels by this particular group, these SJWs, these wokists, they want to use prequels created not by the original geniuses that came up with these franchises, but they want to use that to alter these worlds. That's why the Lord of the Rings TV show is something we must be afraid of. Because they will try, it, it, it takes place long before the Third Age. It's the Second Age. They will likely, and I don't have evidence for this yet, we don't have a trailer or anything, I am, this, is, this, is, this is speculation. But speculation based on evidence so far that we've seen in many other attempts. They will use this to alter Tolkien's world, to suit their narrative agenda vision. The changing of the hobbits that we know right now already. The addition that Gandalf may appear as a woman. Making other characters move it around, this and that. Making them take on roles that necessarily Tolkien wouldn't have had them do. All for the sake of pushing agenda. The introduction of diversity when Tolkien's world is clearly laid out that while it's diverse these separate peoples are far away from each other and it would take a long time for them to interact to get together they wouldn't all be in one place the way the diversity and the representation crowd would have you would want it and have you believe that it happens that way you understand what I'm saying they want to use this show to rewrite history of the franchise that is Lord of the Rings. They're already doing it in Star Wars, using comics and crappy novels to rewrite the original trilogy, events during the original trilogy to suit their narratives, to suit their desired story outcomes. All roads lead to Jake Skywalker. All roads lead to the sequel trilogy. They're doing it in Star Trek with Star Trek Discovery. All things changed through prequel doorways, all for the sake of narrative. So that is why I am always very apprehensive when prequels are mentioned. One, because I don't like prequel storytelling to begin with. It opens the door for unnecessary retconning. But also in this day and age, it is how the... SJW woke crowd gets through the door and attempts to change the narratives to suit their agenda, to make something that was once escapist entertainment agenda entertainment. It is our job to say no. To say no. Star Wars is not lost. Disney Star Wars is crap, but real Star Wars is still there because there is actual lore and source material that can be embraced and, and, and revealed to the world. The EU is real Star Wars. Disney Star Wars is not. Star Trek, embrace the t original trilogy. I'm sorry, embrace the original series. Embrace TNG, even though every actor, with the exception of Michael Dorn, has lost their damn minds. I forgot to mention Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Embrace what came before. Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker's time. They've tried to rewrite it through prequel type aspects. I don't, I don't know what, what the future holds for that series. We don't know what Russell T. Davis will do to save it or may, maybe make it worse. We don't know. We will wait and see. But you understand what I'm saying. All this stuff. They've walked through the doors of prequels to try and change it. Kenobi, coming up. That's going to be uh, something special. It's our job to shine a light on this. It's our job to speak out about it. I watch this stuff so you don't have to. I watch this stuff to report on it that it is wrong, that it is false, that it is not real. Because it's not real. It isn't. It's only real when we, the fans, say it is. Just because they own it on a piece of paper doesn't give them the right to destroy what we love. All right, I'm done.
Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Odyssey. I'm here to give you my straightforward, honest takes, guys, to earn your trust and support. And I use it. I use facts and logic to do so. I'm not here to be everybody's friend. Plain and simple. Hit the notification button. Share my videos if you like what I'm preaching. And please comment away. You don't have to agree with every word I say. Normal people can find common ground and still get along. We are not stands. We are not SJWs who are cowards behind keyboards. And if we don't pay attention to them, they have no power over us. Because in the end, we really don't care what they think. And we will never care what they think. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't do Facebook. I will never do Twitter. If you want to reach out to me, just email me. It's purely for this channel. I will not miss your communication. Check me out at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas. Join me in conversations there, among many others. And I'm now on Odyssey, at the Renaissance Nerd. Follow me there as well. Help us keep fighting to return escapism to entertainment. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.